Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I am Louise, this is Sewing Days, and today, don't worry, we are back with another unboxing. We have got a bumper unboxing for you guys today. It's been a while since we've done one, so we've got a lot to show you. We've got some fabric, we've got some yarn, we've got some haberdashery bits, and we've got a new fixture in from DMC, so stay tuned and you can see everything new that has arrived at Sewing Days. As always, everything will be linked in the description box down below. I'm gonna go and grab the boxes and we'll get started. So, full disclosure, this fabric has actually already been unboxed because people have been wanting to buy it when people know we have new stuff in even if it's in a box out the back they're like oh can I have a look so a lot of this has already been sold some of but I wanted to show you guys anyway so technically breaking the rules but who cares these are all in from Makawa like I said they'll all be linked in the description box down below this range is called Hedgerow and it's absolutely beautiful so the first one we have is this one which somebody has told me are Agapanthers I thought they were dandelions but I know nothing about flowers but this one is this beautiful blue color and um, also in this range there is this one which is a scene um, which again is the same blues and then it's got little bits of mustard in as well if you remember the grove collection from a couple of years ago it's quite similar to that we then have this with the leaves on which is lovely in the same mustard yellow color that comes in the rust orange as well there's this one which uses the same rust orange color but it's got lots of little leaves on it it's sort of a brownie gray color there's this one with the birds on which is just absolutely beautiful we have the hairs and then this one which is the blue version of the brown one i just showed you because these are all from the same collection the colors go really really well together i'm going to attempt to hold them all up in one go so you can see what i'm talking about <laughs> there we go <laughs> easy as that those are really good like i said they're called they're hedgerow from macawa that's on the floor yeah and i think those are going to be extremely extremely popular the next ones we have up are called jewel tone i said confidently and then questioned myself halfway through the sentence jewel tones yes so the next oh are these ones jewel tones as well i think these are from the same range oh they are yeah so these next ones are from a range called jewel tone which i absolutely love i didn't get many in of this range because i wasn't convinced about some of the patterns the sizes were a bit crazy and some of the colors were a bit much it's not too dissimilar from the henna range that we had a little while ago and um, if you didn't see that unboxing video i'll tag it just up here these ones are beautiful and like i said i've already sold some already so if you are interested make sure you don't leave it too long because i only get five meters of these bolts and i've already sold i know one of them I've already sold two meters of um before it's even gone out on the shop floor this one is absolutely beautiful so there is this white one with lots of different flower patterns which is lovely that also comes in this it's somewhere between teal and duck egg it's not really any color it's sort of all of the colors and um, but it's really really pretty and like i said it's the same print as that one there is this which has got little hummingbirds on which i think is beautiful and i like that it's not directional so it can go with anything and um, i might even make a mask out of this i'm not really sure yet um, then there are these three leopard prints in the jewel tone colors as well these have already been popular i've already sold some of each of these and from the around the world <laughs> try again louise these two are from the around the world range that we um unboxed a couple of weeks ago so they actually go really really well together even though they're from different ranges they're the same print in different colors so if you wanted to go leopard print mad happy to enable you <laughs> behind the scenes um i've just picked this up and i've got one of the pins caught in my cardigan <laughs> so now it looks like i've got a spiky armpit can you help me well, i might leave that there <laughs> thank you <laughs> thanks chef so that is why you have employees right there <laughs> they stop you from dropping things and they get pins out of your cardigan <laughs> Then last from the fabric of this unboxing before we move on to the next stuff is this range and I think you guys are going to love this because I do. We all know I'm, I have an inner five year old. <laughs> so there's this one which has got rainbows and the clouds have got little smiley faces on which is really really cute. It has this star one. Again really popular and really really versatile for so many different projects. Um, there is also a unicorn because people still never get bored of unicorns and the background is a sort of a navy blue colour and it makes the colours look really bright and then there is also a panel 
which is covered in unicorns. I am going to lay this out on the table and I will show you right now what this looks like. I think this panel is going to be super popular. Unicorns always sell well and I know a lot of you like panels too so it's great to have this panel as well as all of the coordinating fabrics I just showed you to go with it so it's kind of a project already put together for you. Okay so that is it for the fabric unboxing. I have got three massive boxes. I don't know if you can see them. Can you see? Where are they? Here! which I'm going to go and grab and we can start opening them because I ordered them so long ago. Not really sure what's in them. Be a surprise for all of us. Right, so I'm on this trusty stool. I'm all cosy and McCarty. I've got one box here and then we have another two boxes to unpack as well. So, uh, well, let's get going because I want to know what's in it. For Christmas, could somebody please buy me a box opener you know you can get those ones that are like specifically so that you don't hurt yourself when you open them because um every time i use the scissors i think mm, this feels like a bad idea but i just never think about buying one so future louise if you don't get one for christmas you need to buy yourself one do it right now whatever you're doing louise stop order the thing okay let's go so this first has lots of yarn in it. A lot of you guys have been waiting for this, so I'm very glad it's all back in stock. So we have this one, which is the merry-go-round. And we have it, I think that's the dark rainbow color. And um, if you saw my last sew and tell video, which I will tag just up here, um, I used that to make a crocheted mug cozy, um, which we have out in the shop. So um, yes, that's always very, very popular. We also have this one, which is a brighter rainbow color rather than darker. Um, we then also have this, which is one of the batik swirls from Starcraft. I know at least one of you is actually waiting for this, so it's here. <laughs> We also have in this box a Hayfield Bonus Chunky in white, also in this colour which is called Storm Cloud. Um, it's lovely, it's got little flecks in it, it's kind of creams and browns and stuff, so that's really cool. I also have got another box here ready to open because I'm trying to whiz my way through this because I've got so much to show you. Ugh. Ah, <laughs> this one's not going to take long to unbox. I feel like it's going to take me longer to open the box than to actually take out what's inside it. <laughs> Okay, so in box number two, eventually, it is. Ooh. Cushion inserts, very anticlimactic. <laughs> we do have loads of cushion inserts back in, so if you're looking at making cushions, um, we have these ones I think are 18 inch, which probably means the other box is the 14 inch that I ordered. Spoiler alert, let's see if I'm right. Thanks. Oh rattling as well I think there's other stuff in it too so it is we have some more of the uh, merry-go-round that I just showed you but this is the really bright rainbow we then have some more cushion pads these are the 14 inch cushion pads there's also lots of other bits in this box I thought it was just gonna be that so um exciting we have DMC threads so these go on our spinny tower that we have trying to get all of them so I can show them all in one go. The blank, the colour is called, so it's white. The ecru, which is sort of like a creamy off-white colour. 310, which I know off the top of my head is black because this is one I order in all the time. <laughs> Number 746, which is also like a lemony beige colour. I'll show you these quickly because the light doesn't really like them, so... Um, and then these ones are from the satin range, so they are the metallic ones. So this is metallic silver. Obviously, as you can imagine, metallic ones have been very, very popular for Christmas, but we always keep them in all year round. The gold. Ooh, this is a pretty colour. It's kind of a... I don't know, Rhiannon, what colour is this? Like a metallic biscuit colour? Doesn't sound very nice. Ooh. It's not copper. Yeah, it's not copper. It's not it's rose gold. Bronzy? Kind of. It's like a biscuity bronze, mm. but it's nice, it's pretty. The code number is E436 if you want to have a look on the website. We also have in here knitting needles, so we've been waiting for these to come in because I have been out of stock of the main colours. So these are four millimetre ones um, in 30 centimetres and the other ones are four and a half in 30 centimetres. Oh, sew machine oil. Um, I get asked for this a lot and I just haven't had any in for a while and that's on the floor. <laughs> 
These are row counters. I've had so many people ask me about row counters for the last couple of weeks. So they are here. Row counters have arrived. And they're good. You get a, a multi-pack, which is good if you're using different size needles so they don't slide about too much. I have these cutters. So these are brilliant. They've got little blades in the bottom, but the whole thing is completely concealed. You can take them on the plane normally. So I normally keep one in my holiday kit. They're really good if you're doing it in the car and you don't want to drop your scissors or I use mine on the sofa because I'm forever losing my little embroidery scissors down the side of the cushion but this is on a pendant so you can wear it around your neck it's got like a necklace bit on it um, or you can tie it around your wrist so I think these are absolutely great they also make really good gifts so if you're not sure what to get somebody but you know they do crafting you can cut sit you, you can cut scissors you can't cut scissors that's the game right um you can cut thread you can cut yarn they're really 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 sharp so um yeah they're they're a really good gift if you're not sure what to get somebody we also have some i think these are crochet hooks i think they're small ones i think they're two and a half yeah two and a half millimeter crochet hooks some stitch markers so these are really good if you're knitting crocheting using different for counting your different rows and stitches we have a zip which is for a customer so that that's here <laughs> if you're watching we have another rotary blade in a 28 millimeter and another one in a 45 millimeter we have another pair of scissors these sell out really quickly these are the ones i use in the shop they are the ones that i've been cutting fabric with for four and a half years and they're still just as sharp as they were and um, they're micro serrated so they stay very very sharp and you never need to sharpen them they are a bit more expensive for scissors i think they're 20 something pounds um but they are absolutely worth their weight in gold and i i love mine i never let anybody else use them <laughs> A lot of you guys have been coming in asking for really, really tiny buttons and I've just managed to restock them. They are teeny, teeny, tiny. They, I don't see if it says the actual measurements as well as the media saying teeny, tiny. I think they're five millimetres. So I got them in the black, the rainbow colours and pastel colours as well. So they'll all be sourced out. We don't put buttons and ribbons and things like that on the website because A, too time consuming, but B, I don't really want you guys to buy one button <laughs> on the website. So these you can either come in for or if you want to have a look at our button or our rainbow selection, um, just get in contact with me and I will send you all of the options that we have. Okay, so the only other thing to show you guys is our new attachment for our spinner from DMC. So we always had this spinner in, it's got 500 and however many odd colours, but we now have this in as well. So this is a spinner that attaches at the top. Oh, it's squeaky. Oh, it's squeaky. It has two sides of all the different Aida's, so different colours, different counts. These ones are sparkly, which is really cool and have been very popular for Christmas. They're all down the side here and then we have this side, which is all of the accessories that you might need when you are doing cross stitch. All different hoops, soluble fabric, different needles, different scissors. It's just a really, really cool attachment for us to have and doesn't take up very much space. But as soon as you walk in the door, it is bang in front of you. Okay, that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you want to stay up to date, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and you'll be the first to find out when we post a new video every Friday. We will be posting a video next week but the week after I will be taking some time off. So if I don't see you, if you're not back, have a lovely Christmas and if you're watching this from the future, I hope you had a lovely Christmas. <laughs> have a good day guys.